Are they heavy? Yeah, they're heavy. Look, they're about 25 pounds. Why don't you feel? Let me show yeah. you. Today, we're going to interview the biggest boobs in the world. Or at least the biggest boobs she's seen. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen two. Woo! These are questions from our fans, okay. so I didn't write them. Okay. So if you get mad, That's your get, disclaimer? Mad, okay. get mad at the fans. <laughs> are your boobs real? Well, my boobs are real. They're just upgraded. Huge upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what size are they then? I have 4,800 cc's per breast. So the size, as far as the bra is concerned, I don't wear them. So oh. I just wear like a little sports bra. You know, I don't have any underwire or anything like that. I don't like that. So. You like to be natural, right, I Granny? Like, yeah. <laughs> I like to just let them. Let them hang, hang right? Let them hang. <laughs> are they heavy? Yeah, they're heavy. Look, they're about 25 pounds. Why don't you feel? Let me show yeah. you. Oh, yeah. What do you think? I think they're heavy. You think you could handle those, Granny? No. When did this all start, and what was your uh, reasoning for it, I guess? Okay, the, the reasoning behind it was I'd given birth to five children. Okay. And I kids. breastfed all of them. Wow. And I had pretty good-sized boobs, a decent-sized C, and that's when I met my husband. And he always the guy liked, holding the camera, by the way, liked, everybody. <laughs> yes. He always <laughs> liked big boobs, and I did too, but I was like hating on girls that would get boob jobs because really deep inside I wanted one. And yeah. so finally, we used our tax return to get my first boob job and I got 800 cc's. And I <laughs> loved them. I loved them and had them for 10 or 11 years and I wished I would have gone bigger. Yeah. Uh, but at that time, I couldn't find a surgeon who would go bigger. So I had those 10 or 11 uh, boobs for 10 or 11 years and then I found a crowdfunding site called yeah. My Free Implants and they actually you could crowdfund your boobs from men that love boobs and would donate to you to see you want to get bigger boobs. And since I already had the 800s, they're like, oh gosh, she wants to go twice as big. Let's see what she would look like. We'll donate to her. Wow. So I got the second set, which was 1,700 cc's. And I... So double? Dub more than double. Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah, yeah. More than double. 100 cc's more than double. So 1,700 per side. Found a doctor that would do it and I still wanted to go bigger. Yeah. So I'm tall and I'm curvy and I wanted them to be, you know, match my body. And so I kept those for a year and a half and got expanders. And expanders are an implant that's put in just like a regular implant behind the muscle wall. But I can, I have a port on either side at my uh, rib cage that I can insert a saline syringe every so often and expand them without further surgery. Wow. So I'm kind of like an inflated boobs. Uh, how do you feel about another or other men buying your wife's boobs? Um, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I get to enjoy them and I don't have to pay for them. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the best of both worlds. Like, oh, thanks, man. I didn't have to do any of the work. Yeah, I just well, get all the reward. But you know what I think about? <laughs> if it's kind of healthy in that if you're okay with yourself, yeah. then you're like, hey, I've got a beautiful wife and she wants to get hotter. Great. I've got her. I know where she lives, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I know where her heart's yeah. at. That's all that matters. Go, have a look. Yeah, Whatever. Absolutely. And what's it going to hurt? Can you see your toes? Um, When I do this. Mm-hmm. Wow. But you know what? I let somebody else worry about seeing my toes. I don't know how important it is for me to see my toes, so. <laughs> so you can see your toes, but can you tie your shoes? I can tie my shoes. That's been a, a common misconception that I can't tie my shoes. I'll tell you what, uh, what is a little bit more difficult. Tying the right one than the left one, because this one hangs a little bit lower, so that's it. But I, I can tie them, I just don't yes. need to. I've got helpers all around. Kids. Tell them how you untie them. I don't want to because my back. Oh. <laughs> my back is bothering me. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> yes. A big question is, my, does my back hurt? How, does your, how is your back? My back is generally really great. I've got a very strong back, and I do a lot of work in the gym to keep it strong. I think my bed is trying to kill me. It's too soft, yeah. and so it goes out from time to time. But I'm sure the boobs don't ha help the weight a yeah. tremendous amount. But I get regular chiropractic care, and I get massages. So that really counters any undue stress to my body that I have. But, I mean, everybody yeah. has pain, right? I got I, back pain, you got back pain. I look yeah. at this like choosing my pain. Yes. Mm -hmm. People, you know, that have different choices that they've made in their life, they, they choose that pain too. But I choose this pain and I like it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know much about breast augmentation, but I've seen a couple of those TV shows and how it's done. But yeah. maybe you could tell me 
how yours was done. Okay. I know you can go through like an armpit, you can go underneath, you can go under the muscle. Oh, wow, you know, I know a, a few lot. things. You do. I've watched I'm, a few shows. I'm really impressed. <laughs> you must like boobs. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, you can say. Well, yeah. I mean. Okay, so for me, my breasts have always, I've always had the implant underneath the muscle. And, wow. And I've always gone around this, the, uh, around the nipple. areola yeah so that's the nipple granny yeah around yeah. the nipple and so and every time and i people ask always oh you must have lost sensation i actually gained sensation because again i had those kids breastfeeding and ruining yeah. and then after that they kind of came back into you know so your muscles normalcy. you said you're underneath the muscle i'm underneath the muscle so you can you use your i can flex my breasts so it still work like how like the heck? well i can I show you totally so ah. yes i have really great muscle control mm -hmm. and i can I see yeah that. i see i see can you sleep on your stomach or what's it like you know what i can get on my stomach actually i just put a pillow mm -hmm. underneath my breast and i lay on my stomach for about 30 minutes to maybe an hour mm -hmm. but i don't sleep on my stomach because i'm not a stomach sleeper i'm a side sleeper so okay. i don't have to worry about it all right so obviously we're surrounded by water right in the case that something bad would happen and you were to fall in there without a life jacket, would you float? <laughs> I know how to float because my grandmother taught me how to okay. float. So the boobs have nothing to do with so it. The um, material does float though. I don't know. I've never had to test it out. I'm not trying to, but I could. Granny, uh, you ready for a swim today? You want to you wanna jump <laughs> off? <laughs> what do you think? So Granny, do yes. you think that you would ever get a boob job? I don't believe so. No? No. Not at this age. Uh, exactly. But do you think you would have maybe 20, 30 years ago? Well, that's iffy, iffy. What? <laughs> what if Grandpa was like, hey, Granny, I can yes, see, I, I need some, we need some uh, to spice uh, the love life up. It would be 60 50. Okay. Okay. 60 50, that doesn't add up at all, but all right. <laughs> can you tell us about your career and what you do? Of course. What I do is I like to take women who want to upgrade their look and particularly a breast uh, surgery or an implant and help crowdfund that for them. I actually will take women who have either they've gone through a traumatic uh, process like a breast cancer and they've had a mastectomy or they just want to upgrade their look because they just, I don't know, want to feel better, want to feel sexier. <laughs> and I try to glow them up and show them their most beautiful side possible. Help them with their hair, their makeup, take pictures and then show those pictures and crowdfund their pictures on the site to men who actually helped me get my boob job, mm -hmm. the second one, and that's what I do. I'm kind of paying it forward mm -hmm. because I think it's underrated. Women, and a lot of people think, oh, boobs, it's so fake. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just an external thing. That's true, but what it does for a woman's self-esteem is unbelievable and mm -hmm. how it makes her feel about herself. She goes out into the world, she has more confidence, she treats people with more uh, kindness, she's more patient I think with husband and children because you feel sexier. Yeah. When you get your sexy back as a woman or you, especially if you've lost it after having children, they will destroy your body. When you had your kids, did it, did it kind of change your body? Oh, it certainly did. And you kind of felt a little less sexy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and so some of us want to reclaim that sexy. So we're taking our Bring sexy, sexy back. back. We're bringing sexy back and we're saying, hey, it's okay to be a sexy woman and be a successful wife, mother, yeah. business owner. You can have all of that together. It's not one or, or one or the other. And I just like to be the poster child for, hey, I'm extreme. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to go as extreme as I do. Yeah. do. I'm not a proponent of that unless you want to. But I want to say that we as women can support each other in all our different looks. And it's not the successful businesswoman and wife and mother category and then the sexy chicks over here. Yeah. It's a blend of both. Yeah. And I think if we do that, we'll be happier in our lives. I know I am. And I know the men in our lives are much happier. Yeah. So there's been, there's been no complaints. Once again, <laughs> Let's just say that. husband's holding the camera right now. <laughs> Let's just say that. There have been less complaints than before. Yeah. So really, I'm just trying to save the world one boob job at a time. One boob job at a time. See, I got a fan and granny. I'm yes. saving. I'm saving the world one hearing aid at a time. My lord. <laughs> what is your favorite things about these, or your less favorite things? Okay, my most favorite thing about these boobs is the way I look in clothes. I love that extreme look. You know, big boobs, small waist, big booty. My least favorite thing is the way clothes don't fit me sometimes. So. How do you find a small enough waist but a big enough? 
top uh, to, be, do you have to get custom clothes? No, I don't have to have anything customized. I just find stretchy fabrics and a lot of, I just know what brands fit me. And I look for, because I'm so curvy, yeah. I look for things long and lean because then my body fits, fills it out. Are they bigger than basketballs? I don't know if they're bigger than basketballs, but they're at least a volleyball size, I think. Holy so crap. pretty good size, yep. Your husband's we spiking try, them. We try not to spike them. <laughs> yeah. When you got it done, I assume your body wasn't ready for your skin to stretch or that much or was it? Actually, it was. I really? had really stretchy, thick skin, my doctor said. So it was not a difficult thing for me to go through. So this has been my fourth surgery and will be my final. I won't have to have another one because yeah. of the expanders. But uh, no, I handled it really well. And most don't. I've got really good thick skin, like I said. So they stretched. So you were like the perfect person. I was this. the perfect candidate. Yes. Yeah, because I, I know girls who get like a B cup and they're like complaining for pain. six months. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I think the fact that I was older when I had my first boob job and I'd had five kids, five pregnant yeah. Yeah. breastfed all five of them yeah so that kind of adds to the wear and tear of that t tissue and they're yeah. used to it the well, no, you had five kids and then you had three more yes after this yes so I assume you stopped breastfeeding after that yes I okay. did so I, I did no the yes. rules but you could you could yeah. I it just wasn't successful for me so yes with my sixth child Isaiah I found out that while he was getting milk he wasn't getting that nutrient-rich milk so he was dropping weight but he was still staying alive but I was kind of starving him. So something about that implant in there that's just kind of pressed on my milk ducts so that he'd get some milk, but not fully what he needed gotcha. to, to be healthy. So I had to bottle feed the next three, but it was a small price to pay. And it's like crazy. Every time we film these videos, the people are so amazing in person. So. I love that. Well, I think the same thing yeah. with you. I mean, you never Thank really you. know what you're going to get, but yeah. I just try to keep myself open to different people and you just vibe attracts vibes. So. Yeah. Definitely. Thanks so much for the opportunity. It was great to meet you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Have to come out. We'll have to do it we again. We have to go swimming now to I mean, put the test. You know, I got to do water. my. I got to do my Baywatch Beach Run. I'm sure you guys. Yeah, we've got some clips to and do. Grand, and Grant. This isn't the end and of Grant, everything. Grant. Today we're with Allegra, and we're going to interview her boobs. Are they going to talk? <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of our videos, make sure to subscribe right here. If you want to see Allegra's videos, her link is in the bio. This Come is pretty cool. Us. It was fun. These are the craziest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video, homies. And if you want to see more videos of me and this old fart, follow us on Facebook right here at Ross Smith Videos. We also got an Instagram at Smooth Smith 8 and even a Snapchat at Pillow Sweat. Thanks for following us and uh, have a great day, right? Oh, yes. Love you. We love you.